Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the challenge. Uh, since my last video, let's talk about the socials. I finally built the Facebook page. It's a lovely group. We've got about 100 strong in there already. As I'm talking to you now, I've just got a notification saying a few more people are requesting to join. Everybody seems to be on board with the community spirit, wanting everybody to succeed and helping everybody out as well as themselves in learning. I've posted a lot of my videos in there as well. So we've got a handy guides section. The other thing that you may have noticed that's changed since I started was that I've now got affiliate links in the descriptions of my videos and I've got a link tree with affiliate links in there. I wanna put this on record to say that I appreciate that every Amazon guru is affiliated probably with the same sort of companies and a, a few others like that. I can promise you, I will only endorse companies that I either use or will be using when I hit the appropriate juncture in my journey. So if you look in there at the moment, we've got Source Mobile, which this entire video will be about. We've got SellerAmp, which I think is fantastic for retail arbitrage. We've got BuyBot Pro, which I've shown you on the Chrome extension last week. We've got Jungle Scout. I'm dipping my toe in wholesale right now. I don't want to share too much because I want to be confident that the knowledge that I've got is worth sharing. So uh, I'm dipping my toe into wholesale at the moment. So I am using Jungle Scout, but not enough that I'm confident to start telling you what to do with it. The Amazon links on there, they're the things I've actually bought, not the cardboard boxes. We talked about this, go out and get your cardboard boxes for free. But <laughs> when I run out of cardboard boxes and I can't get them, those are the ones that I will be buying. <laughs> Worst affiliate ever. So I hope you understand that I won't be just throwing tat at you. It will be everything that I actually use for this journey. Of course, I get a bit of commission off the back of that. And so far the support you guys given me has been fantastic and it will help towards the challenge, absolutely. It will help towards my loft being built, but it will help me producing these, hopefully at better quality. I've still, I've got, I've still not got a, what's those stupid ring light things that just makes my face look <laughs> pasty. Anyway, never mind. Let's get into Source Mobile. What I find as I go into this more and more and more, when you start off Amazon selling, you're copying by rote everything that you've seen. You look on a YouTube channel, you might find a TikTok, it might be me and you're copying everything that I do because that's how you do it. Of course it is. The people out there that are providing information, you copy their methods, you, you use the same software that they're using and you just go through the motions. As you start becoming more and more autonomous with it all, you find yourself developing your own processes, the, your own way of searching, your own filters that you put on the software. So what I'm finding now is that I'm currently in that space. So when I'm looking for products now, I've implemented my own sort of criteria. I call it the double ID. When you're looking for a product, you want to implement the double ID. First stage, you identify. Now this is by far the most time consuming aspect. Going out, searching, scanning, clearance sections, sales, grocery aisles, cash and carries. Perfect example for Source Mobile. You go on the Boots website, you go on the WH Smith's website, you go on the Argus website, you identify and you see that's a tenner. On Amazon, it's 25 quid. So you're looking at it, face value without doing any proper checks. That looks like it's cheap. That looks like it will earn me profit. That's the identify stage. You identify your products and then you put them into a shortlist. After you've identified a product, your next stage is the second eye, your investigation. You've got your lead, you've identified your lead, and now you're gonna investigate it. You use your buy bot pros, you use your seller amps. If you can do it manually, do it manually. It'll save you a few quid, but it'll take more time. You're investigating, and then your D is your decision, whether you take the plunge. So your double ID. Now, a good bit of software will take away the pain from the double eyes, and it will inform you to make your decision. Now, specifically, Source Mogul is an absolute belter when it comes to identify. And identify, for me, is by far the most time consuming aspect. So what I'll do is I'll show you through, I'll show you how exactly I implement my criteria for Source Mogul. And it will show you just how quickly identify is ticked off the list. And then we can get straight into investigation. There'll also be lots of element of BuyBot Pro on this because that's the Chrome extension I'm using at the moment. So we'll have Source Mogul dealing with the identifier and we'll have BuyBot Pro dealing with the investigation in conjunction with Source Mogul. 
All right, that'll do. Very long intro, my God. Let's roll it. Right, here we are on the old share screen. You see, I've got a fancy new microphone, so hopefully the sound will be a bit better and not all over the place. So this is the front screen of Source Mode. How we do things, we wanna start a search. Now we've got three types here. Let's ignore this wholesale. That'll be another video for another time. But category and retailer. We won't do the retailer, but I just wanna show you just quickly, this is how many retailers this bit of software searches. So like any decent data matching service, what this does is that it scans the internet like Google would do, I suppose. But specifically, it looks out there for items that are being sold, then matches them with the item being sold on Amazon, finds a price discrepancy, and according to what you put in as your filter, it will show you products that are more profitable on Amazon and leads for you to sell. I'll keep scrolling down just as an idea. Now this is just the UK, but there is an option as well to go to the US. So don't think I'm segregating here. It's just that I'm in the UK, so I'm searching for the UK. What we are gonna do though, is search by category. And again, these are the typical categories that you get on Amazon. Let's go with beauty, you beauty, and we'll search this. I'm gonna press pause, go and get myself a cup of tea and this will be done by the time we come back. Just like that, we're back. And there it is, so let's view. Okay, before we start looking at products, you wanna have a look on the left here. These are the filters that I've implemented so we're not wasting our time. Uh, I've said many times that I won't look at products that are anything less than 30% ROI, so I've filtered that accordingly. Also down here, you can toggle this. How much profit do you want per unit? I'm optimistic, so I'll go for three pound. If this came back with very few options, I would move this down a peg or two just to get some leads. Sales rank, I'm not too fussed about that. Match accuracy. Now, what's important to know here is that there is no such thing as a perfect system or a perfect bit of software when you're matching data. Amazon lists itself in such a weird way. If you go on any listings, there's no description of a product that actually follows standard Western conventions in language. It's basically a bunch of keywords thrown together on a page so people can find them in their searches. It doesn't actually make any sense. So what I can say is that this is meant to be one of the best softwares when it comes to data matching. You've got this, and I think there's another site called Tactical Arbitrage, but I prefer this. So no matching is gonna be perfect. Even if we took this first one, look, this, £4.59 into £35.99. Look at the pictures. Clearly a different product. 400 mil, 5,000 mil. Okay, so we report a mismatch. Now let's go back over here. So the match accuracy, medium. Personally, I don't like finding the easy options because the easy options would have much, much more competition. Usually some sort of price is being driven down. So I like a little bit of a challenge. When we talk about identifying a lead, you want to identify a lead that other people haven't identified. That's kind of the key. Yes, it's more time consuming, but what you can do here is you can set the accuracy to medium. So up here, high, you'll probably get a lot of better matches. Look straight away, things disappeared there. But if I set it down to medium, we get a slight change and it means that we just have to dig a little bit further. So what we're gonna use as an example are these two. Now let's look at this one. Boots, they're saying Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy Perfume is 30 mil. This looks the same, different picture, but look, it's the product, it's the same product. But to double check, we'll go to the Boots website. First thing you can see, look, we're out of stock. Doesn't matter, let's go through the investigation. Up here, look, my top cashback has kicked in. Get 5% cashback, we'll keep, keep a note of that. Most importantly, it's the 30 mil bottle. Let's go back. We click on the Amazon link. And here it is, look, it's the same. It's just a different picture. Britney Spears perfume, 30 mil. 12 pound 50 into 26 pound 01. We hit the analyze and it comes up here saying, look, there's five pound profit. Look, it's 43% and look, it sells roughly 23 per month. 
it sells an awful lot more than that but they're being conservative because look what's happened in February and March last year so it's a seasonal type deal now if we hover over this it tells us why it's telling us not to buy it the sale price is unstable that's usually a good one but the deal does have good profit and the estimated sales have been great so it's basically knocked it right down because the sale price is unstable okay so if we look at this chart this is this is telling the story of the product so we know if it's an orange blob this orange blob it means amazon are on the listing let's take that off and i'll show you see disappears so we put it back on again amazon was selling this at 12 pound 24 and the buy box was owned by amazon at 12 pound 24 that was on the 15th of jan that was only last week then amazon decided to come off they must have run out of stock and then straight away some other sellers have gone i don't want to sell it at 12 pound 24 i'm going to sell it at 21.99 and then they took the buy box away so there's no buy box on this product now if you ever look at the green line look what happens there's a sale there and then people stopped buying it and it went up and up and up and up and it's had one sale there and it's gone up again so my bet is amazon are either going to come back on the listing and drop it at 12 pound 24 again or it's gonna stay at this price and not sell very well. So when it says, look, 8,000 ratings and a 4.7 out, out of five, in reality, the 30 mil, what we're looking at, there's only had 30 reviews, not 8,000. And this is really important. Why would you buy the 30 mil for 26 pound when you can buy the 100 mil for 95 more pence? So for that reason, I would say no to this. Next one, no Tino, whatever that is. £26 into £48. £9 profit each, 83 sales. This looks very nice. Amazon are your competition, and they are the only other team selling it. Let's click on no need Tino, go through our checks, make sure that we're dealing with the right product. Here it is, amazing. 10% cash back on this. £26, 15 mil. Let's go back. Amazon and I'll take a look at this 15 mil first of all it's the right product yes now let's go through the data you can see the difference can't you when you've got a good product that's worth proper looking at or a product where there are just red flags at the front this straight away paints a much better picture 12 pound profit is massive 50 odd percent ROI 33 sales per month and that's consistent every month which shows that it's not seasonal and it is a safe bet they rated it at 70% chance of success Amazon are on the listing and they have the buy box we go through here the buy box analysis it's red which will just show look Amazon aren't sharing the buy box but that's in, what's important to know here is that they're the only seller so why would they share the buy box let's show the variations this all matches out 15 mil is 48 quid the super serum is a hundred pound a hundred percent of the reviews are about this product we've got 1500 ratings here we've got an absolute belter i'm not gonna lie to you if i had money in my bank i'd be all i'd be all over this i'm a little bit gutted that it's shown up fill your boots go on enjoy yourselves you notice i put the 10 percent in there let's go back to the website and you'll see i've got 10 percent cash back so throw your 10% in there as well, and that's factored into the calculations. Look, Amazon are on it again. And they dropped the price around Christmas time to £31. But since New Year's, it has been a high price and there has still been plenty of sales. So you're confident that you could sell this around £48. You're going to be competing with Amazon. Now, if this was me... I would try and undercut Amazon by 50p, see if I could get the buy box. What's really nice is that we've got such a large amount of profit to play with, you've got leeway. The break even price would be £32.24 and it's going for 48. So you've got £16 to play around with. If you were to drop it by a quid, you're still making £15 profit per unit. It is fair to say that without Source Mogul, I would never, ever, ever have found this product. 
I've never heard of Notino, so I would have never gone on that site. Let's go back to the main screen and we'll talk it out. Right, so there we go. That went far better than I ever planned. I'm... <laughs> when it comes to the double ID, when it comes to identification, that bit of software, if applied correctly, can knock it out of the park and can save you hours. You can get the point now of what I do. Other things that I didn't do for the purposes of that video, I didn't check if I was on gating and you'll notice that I hadn't logged in to my Amazon seller account on the Chrome extension. Because you've saved so much time on the identification process, you can afford more time in the investigation process because all of a sudden you've got something worth looking at. Anyway, I could ramble on about this for ages. If you're enjoying these videos, please do the usuals, like, comment, subscribe, notifications, blah, 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 blah. Have a look through my old videos. Come and join the Facebook group. That's where the party's, <laughs> that's where the party's at. All right, everyone, take care. See you soon.